Hey everyone, Christy with Crafted by Christy. I wanted to take you on a walkthrough real quick of the newest member of my Etsy shop. Um, this one, as you can tell, I don't have the name, the book plate on because I really couldn't make up my mind if I wanted to put it on there. Um, the name of this little book, of course, I, I have named it Time because my thinking of it, and I'll show you here why I say this in a little bit, was that we don't take the time for ourselves. And I know we hear that all the time, but <clears throat> it's like I'm. my thinking of this book was if you just took five minutes, five minutes a day and wrote down, or you don't even have to write, draw something, put in a fun memory or, or you know, um, a receipt or I went here today or worst day ever or just you know something quick take the five minutes to have your cup of coffee to sit down to appreciate just to breathe um, but anyway I'll start with um, the reason I didn't put this on was I couldn't decide if I liked it and if I do like it where do I want to put it I think the reason I'm confused about whether I want to use it is because of the closure. I think it's really enough. I don't think this book needs a book plate. But the closure, as you can see, is buttons. And it just, and I did not tighten it. I left it loose because I thought, well, you could decide whether you wanted to go ahead and knot it. But as you used your journal, you can, of course, move it from being vertical to horizontal and you know, or, you know, leave it off, whatever. I mean, there's just lots of options with leaving it like this for you um, to do with how you want. Uh, this book is five by five. It has two signatures. Each signature has 48 pages. So 98, I'm sorry, 96, <laughs> can't add. That's 102. No, okay, 96 pages total. Um, it has a really big tassel that has, as we go through, you'll see it has most of the fabrics that are in this journal for tabs or, um, you know, just decoration in this journal it has lots of beads, um, ribbon, lay, everything that you can imagine is in this. And so because it's a little bit on the hefty side I made I don't think you can see it but it actually has an extra loop on top of the binding for this tassel so that you could take it off or add things to it this piece does open but because it's really stiff I went ahead and put a lobster claw on it is that what it's called lobster claw or did I just make that up so that you could slip it in and out um onto your binding and add things if you wanted to but this like I say this opens up as well just slide it through that and also I wanted to show you I did add my little logo on a ball pin so you can easily it's just snapped onto one of these pieces you can easily take it off if you don't like it but like I say it has lots of lace and fabrics and beads and all kinds of pretty things yarn even in the tassel buttons okay so just to let you know that each of these signatures are pretty much identical there are a few small subtle differences like this one doesn't have it just has the collage with the stamping on it. The second signature has a collage, but it actually has a pocket in it. This one has the pocket on the collage. This signature has the pocket on the next page. But the things that are in the pocket, I mean, pretty much ephemera in each are the same. They're just a little bit different, maybe a different color, but pretty much the same. Um, the outside is a fabric. The inside is um, cardboard. I don't remember what kind of box I took this from, but it's nice and bendable, but it's still sturdy. I did put 
some extra on the binding of the book on the spine to keep it good and strong. Actually, what I used was it's a wallpaper that I collaged to and then I just watercolored it and stamped it. So, and it's really, really thick and sturdy. So I added a piece of that to the spine and sewed it and glued it to give it more security, moving it around a lot. First page, like I said, has the collage um, and a pocket on the back that's been sewn. Um, just some, uh, you know, writing spots, a tag. And I did put the a note from the maker, the, uh, from the bookmaker. This is just kind of a little letter. I'm sure you've probably seen it that tells you how to, you know, different ideas, things you can do with a junk journal, what their purpose is. I did not create that letter. Um, it was created by Jibby. Well, I don't know if she's the one that created it. That's who I got the letter from. And I cannot remember her last name. I will um, try to remember to put her name on the screen so that if you're interested in those, you can go to her website and find it. Second page is um, a used coffee filter collaged on music paper. And then this page is actually a digital that I embossed and I don't know if you can see it very good but I don't have an embossing machine so but I do have the plates so I sprinkled it with water put it in the plate rolled over it and it gave it that good texture I've got tea dye it's actually paper I thought for a minute it was an index card but it must have been laying next to an index card index card while I was dyeing it because I can see the little lines um, I did some stamping on this one and uh, back to the taking time for yourself, you know, the old saying, take time to stop and smell the roses. So I put things in here that I thought would be comforting and remind us, you know, just like the chocolates, you know, get that piece of chocolate that's delicious and sit down and enjoy it instead of shoving it in our mouth on the way to work, you know, take a minute for yourself. And I know that that's easier said than done. Trust me, I know. But if we do it, I think it starts your day off better. It gives you just to be able to breathe for a minute. Um, this is vellum. And again, I embossed it. And this is kind of a green color, but I embossed it. Put a little ink on it. Uh, I have a little card in here that reminds me of a postcard. But I think it's just kind of an information card some sewing. I don't think I'll take out all the ephemera, so the person that gets this will have some surprises. More stamping. And I have lots of clips in here. Um, this is just a curly cue, but a lot of the clips, I think there's, in both signatures combined, I think there are around 10 clips and most of them do have a charm of some kind on them. A lot of the ephemera will have a little pocket of some kind. A lot of the writing spaces. I've done a lot of sewing in this. A lot of stenciling. Washi tape. Um, this is this piece is just um, actually taken from a magazine. And I glued it to cardstock and then sewn around it. It's just a just a fun piece. A paper ruffle. Here's another clip with a little bead charm on it. More sewing tags. This is a digital like dictionary page. Another charm with a tag. More sewing. And the reason behind the copy is I I guess my own personal thing. I kind of think of coffee and chocolate and you know there's some spiritual pieces in here like the tabs that say savior and I, those things remind me of comfort of relaxing and I don't know just enjoying a minute so I think that's why I chose the 
the more, I don't know, the richer colors for this book. Um, butterfly stencil. This paper is really neat. It almost looks like it's been embossed, but I, it's, I didn't. That's just how it was made. It's good to write on, though. More sewing. Some um, scrapbook paper. Paper bag with some goodies. More stamp. This one's stamped, not stenciled. Fabric tag. Or tab. Some stenciling. Uh, this one's fabric ruffle, where this other one was paper. More tags. And I just kind of did some odd sewing. I know you'll think, why didn't she sew the whole thing? Well, I thought it would be fun just to do some random sewing on some pieces. So I tried that in this book. I like the rugged look of it. I wouldn't say rugged. What would you say? It's a good word for that. I don't know. Okay, so more washi tape. More sewing. Some more writing spaces, tags, and I tried to change the what I put on the top of the tags. Some have fabric, some have like this seam binding. I think I put, maybe the rest of them do have fabric. I thought I put some lace, but I can't remember. This is a neat clip. It's a music note, of course, and just on some more writing space. I think those are neat clips. More sewing. Stamping. Just a distressed card and a, another clip. More stenciling. More stenciling. I really like stenciling. Stamping. Some more tags. That has a piece of cake on it. Yum. That makes me hungry. Vellum. And then on the last sheet of both signatures, I've put one of these little scrap paper it's made out of a doily with just a little cluster on it. And it's been tea dyed. That's not spit. <laughs> um, little notepads that are sewn together and they just hang over the top. I'll run you through the next signature real quick, but it's, it's really just the same as the first. Rustic, not rugged. Rustic. That was the word I was looking for. <laughs> okay. So, our next signature has the pocket in the front, doesn't have one here, the music paper. This vellum is white where the other one is green, but it's been embossed as well. Another one of the information cards, more tea dyed and stamped paper. And this one, I believe, has a pocket on the back with some vellum pieces and different little writing spots. Another curly Q, just different color. For Pete's sake. There we go. More stencil and sewing. There's a little bit more washi tape. Another little clip with a bead. This is a pretty charm. If you can see it very good. It's kind of got the warm colors in it. More writing space with some sewing, stenciling. And I forgot to mention I did leave both of the signatures with long, the long strings inside so that if you wanted to add beads, you can, of course, or charms, however you want to do the centers. Always try to leave them this way, just in case. I love this coffee stencil. And 
and this textured paper. Another charm. Enjoy life. We all need to remember that, don't we? Another card, playing card. More stencil, stencil. And more tags and sewing. I really like that embossed vellum. I think that's so pretty. And another notebook. And that is the end of our little book. I hope you like it. If you do, please give me a thumbs up if you're interested in this um, little book. It is on my Etsy, in my Etsy shop. It's called Crafted by Christy Shop. Um, and like I said, I'll probably go ahead and include the tag. I'm not going to glue it on because... I don't know I think with the tassel and the button enclosure I just don't really think it needs it there we go I am gonna look that up and see what that's called anyway if you like it please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and if you like this little book please check it out in the Etsy shop thanks for joining me I'll see you next time